Hey guys, I got Hunter there and I got Axel here and my wife and I have been training with these guys for the last little bit and we wanted to communicate some lifestyle things that are going to go into making these guys be very successful at home. They're both similar dogs, they're both reactive, they get charged up and they make poor life choices. So something that we want to communicate with you guys is how every single interaction is is an important thing for these dogs, every interaction. And then beyond every interaction, even more is every command. So when you're giving these guys a command, it's really important to make sure you're following through to completion and being consistent about that part. It's when you give the command and what happens during that process of whether the dog does it or doesn't do it and whether when they don't do it, what are you doing about that? This interaction, this giving the command, giving them the chance to do the command, if they don't do the command, you making sure that you follow through, make them do the command, then they learn, you know, and this is happening on a normal day, right? This is going to happen on quiet moments and medium moments and super loud stimulating moments. But it's essential to do it in the quiet times so the dogs understand the rules and regulations of how life works. So you give them a command such as, hey buddy, go place, I gotta go get the door. And they practice getting on the place bed, staying on the place bed, waiting for you to release them off the place bed. When they're in practice of doing this stuff consistently and you're there following through with them consistently, when guests come over, a different dog is in the picture, something unexpected happens near them, it's not going to be a quick knee-jerk reaction for them to just act out because that's what they're in the practice of doing. Rather, they're going to be in the practice of having impulse control and knowing that mom is going to make sure that I've done this. Mom's going to make sure that I get the reward if I do it right or the consequence if I don't do it right, right? So it's within this structure and being consistent about that process that you're going to change these dogs, you know? Even though they're right here, they're hanging out, hey, you. Axel, come here. Good boy, sit. Good boy. And, and just making sure that you're making them choose good behaviors. When they don't choose the good behavior, you're making sure that you adjust them and then follow through, okay? So this is just something we wanted to say and, and communicate with you guys. It's going to be a really important concept to make sure that you save in your brains. All right, that, that was my little lecture for today, you guys. Good boy. All right, thanks for watching.